take it, right? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, you've picked a great time to pick up this side channel because we have another project, as you can see. And you're in charge. <laughs> so, uh, as you, I mean, I'm sure most of everybody is probably coming from uh, our, uh, the main SRC channel. Um, she, my brother surprised Allison with her dream car pretty much. I mean, a 67 Dart is what she's always talked about as being her like favorite dream race car. And now she has one and we didn't think it would be, you know, we didn't think it would happen this early, but you know, we were always talking like, you know, one day, one day when we're like 40 or like 60 and retired and we're gonna have so many cars. Yeah, and now she already has it, so. Yeah. We got One caught of off them. guard, now we don't even know what to do with ourselves, so. <laughs> so we're going to make it official today. We're heading over to the BMV. Yep. Um, this is the first car that will be actually in your name, right? Yeah, yeah, because the Jeep's in my dad's name, technically, mm -hmm. so. So, we're gonna get that done, and we're gonna hope that we can make it there safely, because we only have front brakes, hillbilly line lock, you're gonna do your first burnout today. I'm gonna to make you. She's never done a burnout, so. I'm ready. <laughs> and uh, we've, so we've gotta fix, uh, the, the back brake caliper leaks a little bit. So, you know, every time we drive it, we gotta put uh, brake fluid in it, but it'll, it'll last for the day and we could make it there, hopefully. And then uh, my dad later is gonna help us tune it up a little bit. The carburetor has like never been touched. The guy set it on there, made it idle and then pretty much said that it was done. So when you go wide open throttle, it sputters real bad and you know backfires. So it probably needs some timing adjustment and some carburetor tuning. And then we should be ready to like race this weekend, I, I guess. She's never been down the track. So she is this gonna be- This family is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's gonna be okay. It'll be okay. My, br I, I talked Billy yesterday out of putting nitrous on it. You're kidding. This weekend, <laughs> he's like, I'm like, Allison's never been down the track. I, <laughs> like, <laughs> like they're we gotta psychos. slow down a little bit. They're psychos. But for now, I think we're just gonna keep the hard tires on it and race it in hard tire and call it a day. I guess so. <laughs> She's just. I'm down ready for, for anything. anything. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a fun little project. I mean. It's a 67 Dart, like, it's so freaking cool. I think they want to put a hard top, or a, a vinyl top on it. We're already looking for vinyl tops. <laughs> and I need to replace the bumpers, because... Oh my god, everything is hydro dipped in this... I don't even know what it is. Oh, oh and then, <laughs> she, we gotta keep this license plate. <laughs> put some LED lights in the eyes. But, literally everything on this car door handles, door handles the, the window all the it's just everywhere and the more you look the worse it gets like even the I think the oh it's just it's everywhere <laughs> so yeah we gotta like de hipster it a little bit but we'll get it done yep all right let's go to the BMV and get all this boring stuff done so we can start doing fun stuff sounds good all right Crank her up. Do I pump first or? Yeah. Just give her two little taps, not wide open. <laughs> just hold the throttle down just a little bit. Not wide open. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, you are learning fast. Yeah. I was a little nervous the first time. <laughs> Let it warm up. All the gauges work, so that's cool. Wait, we even got a gas gauge. Right? Huh? Wait till 160, right? Yeah, that's about right. Park, reverse, neutral, drive. Yup. Park, reverse, neutral, drive. You're in drive, kid.
<laughs> One eternity later. Oh, thank God. We're leaving. <laughs> the BMV brought me to tears. <laughs> Almost. Oh, I did. How, how long were we in there? I think three hours. I think it was longer than that. We finally got back from the BMV and my dad decided to take the dart for a test drive so he could listen to it run and try and diagnose the stumbling issues. Sometimes people put them together and they're not aligned and they're all aligned. Oh, oh. What in the hell is that? Downtown Ernie Brown. Downtown. Downtown Ernie Brown. What's going on, man? Somebody had some tires. So it's tunable? Dude, it's really not that bad. It really isn't that bad. Did it backfire like what we usually do? Not no? at all. Huh. You guys just don't know what you're doing. Well, it probably... <laughs> I'd say it probably had a lot of old gas in it. Yeah, and we probably burned through it today. But the first thing we're going to do... Let's get rid of that. Is we're going to fling the Klingon <laughs> air filter. Make a nice shelf ornament. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, Billy's setting you up for races already. I heard Matt was gonna call me out too. I would doubt it. <laughs> it's a double pumper. Oh, I know. I've been watching your post. It's it's a, it's a, not even. I don't think you've had it a week, week and a half tops. Hop in there and put it on the floor and see if it's got wide open throttle. Uh, oh, you expect it's the carburetor's it? never been tuned. Oh, you mean you bought it running? Yeah. yeah, just the way you see it. Let off, do it again. Is that on the floor? Yeah, it's not quite wide open, but it's that pretty 90 close. 90 percent is that good enough? You Perfect. What do you think? About what? Why does it stumble and why won't it run wide open? It doesn't stumble and it does run wide open. I just went out and melted the tires off and turned it sideways, drove through it, banged through the gears, no <laughs> trouble. <laughs> I don't know what you kids are talking about, but this thing runs good. Okay. Now, caught it I don't buy it. it. Yeah. You were with me. It felt a lot different. <laughs> Did it pull Either through none of us can drive or it was just old gas. It was probably just old gas. Because when we, when we drove it yesterday, it wouldn't even hardly do a burnout in the rain. What? I went out there and brought it up on the foot brake. Stabbed it and walked sideways all the way through low gear, stuck it in second. They've been driving it around, so probably burnt the old gas out of it. Probably. I put fresh nine, they put fresh nine three in Yeah, probably. You could smell it when we started it up for the first time in the garage, the gas was terrible. Okay. Let's get the fucking brakes off this thing so we can find out what's going on there and get the brakes fixed. Outside of that, it's ready to go.
It's not your average start. Oh God, no. I've never seen anything like this in all my days. <laughs> it's a wicked one. We've got top secret shit going on over here downtown. You That's hear me? six link. Yeah, but I'm looking at the adjustability of this bitch, man. It's wild. <laughs> You could turn this thing any way you need to. Whatever problem you're having, you could twist it out. <laughs> As I would call it. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> you, could, you could push any, anything you need anywhere. <laughs> Downtown Ernie Brown, you ever seen anything like that? No, I have not. I've seen a few things. I hadn't either until I got under it. Listen, I've seen tri, tri link. I've seen custom Listen. people make long ass books. I've seen a Listen, lot. Listen, we got shit going on around here downtown. <laughs> oh. What are you trying to do with it? Looks like they were just street uh, I don't know. They wanted to do like pro touring. Oh, uh, well, that would work for that. But <laughs> don't you have a nitrous kit for Molly's yeah, Mustang? Uh huh. Like a freeway. Shit. Hmm. Shit. Well, he's not going to be ready for nitrous anytime soon. But uh, I think it could really help the dart out. <laughs> it's actually a kit that I bought for the black the Dirty Deeds Nova. Oh. It's an NX kit I got from uh, Josh Peak. That's who, that's who I bought it from. Pads look good. Pads are fun. It could have been something where they were putting them in and <coughs> jacked it up. Find a number or something. I think you could just take it into them and probably could. Um, I need whatever size this is. Hmm. Looks like five eighths. <coughs> Take it to Mark and see if he knows what this is. Then of course that puppy's need It's gonna need a lot of nitrous. <laughs> or a lot of turbo. Or an LS. <laughs> or something. But I'm thinking it's about a 890 ride in the eighth. It's nine seconds to think about what you want to put in it. <laughs> if your rick's in the quarter, you got about 14 seconds to think about it. Actually, I can back that up about 1370 because if that's what this thing would probably run, you'd know by running me out there because I run 870s. So. In the blue truck? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good race. I'm telling you. You guys will be able to look over at each other six times before the race is over. <laughs> there you go. Throw up an hand, peel out the window. <laughs> Sorry, but it's gotta go. Alright, can we continue this when we get back? Almost done. It's all the bolts five miles long. Now you so much that better. Like for Halloween, like in the mailbox with the mailman. Man, that thing sounds heavy. <laughs> that's like that's like ten pounds off your front end. You know how many? Hey, what's happening? What's going on? Huh? So we've got these brakes. Oh yeah, the Mopar. Yeah, nice. We've got these brakes, you and do. I'm not sure what they're off of, because it's it's like a QA1 suspension kit on an eight and three quarter Mopar rear end, okay. and it's got disc brakes on it. But I can, like I'm a... trying to figure out Thank what they are, because it's got this this piston's leaking right yeah, there. It's it is ripped. It is and it's, oh yeah, it's all tore up. So I'm looking to try to replace that, but I'm trying to figure out what well, the actual part is. Yeah, that's 
casting thing that has no casting numbers whatsoever on it, does it? Yeah. <laughs> the 50 year old book. <laughs> yeah. You can't. Can normal normal parts stores don't have that. You know, we're not asking what year, make and model. You know. That's right. It's a caliper and he's got freaking illustrations on a book that has turned yellow from age. I'm not allowed to show it. It's classified. It's classified classified right. documents. It is classified. Oh. Well. Well, we were able to figure out what the brake caliper is off of. Turns out it's off of a like 1976 through 85 Buick Riviera. I don't know why, but that's what it is. And nobody in the United States has it. <laughs> so um, we're gonna make some Facebook posts tonight. And uh, worst comes to worst, we're just gonna have to get the full kit that Speedway Motors sells an entire kit and it's in stock and usually they only take a few days to ship things so all else fails we'll have to just do that hopefully we can get the brakes working properly for the weekend if not we'll just plug it off and uh, we don't really need brakes do we brakes just slow you down I mean we're not going that fast you know yeah it'll be okay Billy just got these scales and we're gonna, the, from the factory, the slant six package, which is what this should be, was 2730. So I'm gonna guess. Yeah, full interior now, too. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess that it's now 2860. That's my bet. I'm gonna guess 2780. Y'all don't. 2950. Same. What's your bet? 28 flat. 28 flat. Okay. Oh my. Dad was closest. Nobody was close, technically. 3,048 pounds. Jeez. Somebody lied on Google. <laughs> Hey, you guys, one of these days you're going to learn to listen to me. You still, you're still 100 pounds off. 100? You can't even do math. You said 2950, it's 3047. Right. 100 pounds. That's not 100 pounds. It's like 97 pounds. Exactly. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, ugly Michigan playing off there. Yeah, the M word. Throw that junk in the trash. So, my prediction is going to be on the street, eighth mile, 875. You're giving it too much credit. 875. What do you think? Mm, mm, some. It's going to be in the nines. I'm going to say nine flat. I'm going to say 905. Which would be like what a 14 second quarter mile probably i'm gonna give it more credit i'm gonna say 870 and 1350. if you run a quarter i'm gonna say 1350 870 the eighth what mile an hour uh mile an hour in the eighth 82 and 94 in the quarter i don't know Let's settle this.
After that first pull, we brought the car back to my dad to let him tune on it. He knew the car wasn't at full potential and that it was down on power. So he checked the timing and realized that it was way too retarded. So he put some timing in it and sent us away to make another hit. You start it. I'm always <laughs> starting videos. You do it. I launched the dart for the first time. That's how you're gonna start it? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> she's so pepped up about it. I am. <laughs> it was exciting. I don't know. Um, kind of a person that has to do something once and then I'm not really afraid anymore. So that felt really good. <laughs> I was like, she's so nervous at first. I was like, dude, just do it. Like, you're gonna, <laughs> no, it wasn't you're gonna be all. like, oh, that's so dumb. Like, you're gonna yeah, get bored exactly. of it so fast. I know you are. <laughs> yeah, it so felt what, great. What all have we learned today? Um, the BMV sucks. BMV is horrible. Um, you have brake calipers that don't hardly exist anymore, or no. at least you got to get them on the black market. Yeah. Um, um, that my dad knows how to tune anything whether it's Ford, Chevy, or Mopar. All right, so we, we need a name. We really need a name for the dart. Something cool, something original. So whoever uh, gets the, you guys can comment some cool names and we'll pick one, something cool. My dad is dead set on the poison dart. I think we can do better. I think he's on to something, but we can do better. I we think it's, it it's a little too long and it's something catchy. Like Prodigy's so catchy. Yeah. The kid is catchy. Yeah. We'll figure Poison it out. dart, it sounds cool, but it's not catchy. Alright, alright. Yeah, I'm hungry. Let's go eat dinner. Sounds good. We'll Bye. see you guys.